So remember when this used to be smooth stone and you had to smelt cobblestone to get it? Well now there's an actual smooth stone so you can smelt stone and get smooth stone. It appears that the uh, multiplayer sleep plugin is not working. The sun is coming up. So it's okay. Hey, look! There's a Christmas tree here. <laughs> so leave it up Christmas decorations all year long. Kind of pays off. Um because then we can, uh, well, this is loading kind of slowly. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have to look into the multiplayer sleep, uh, data pack. Probably need to replace that. I think I'm using the Hermacraft one. Um, so I'll just go download newest versions and put those in and make sure that they're working. But I was in bed. Ooh, lava. Um, and so that should have reset my uh, timer as far as the phantoms go. Even though the night didn't actually pass. I think that's how that works. I have to look into that. Okay, and over here... So how's everyone doing? This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And I'm flying out. There's desert out here. I've got, uh, there's other stuff over here. The labyrinth should be out over this way, I think. Big flat area. There's the labyrinth. What has happened here? Okay, so... Barb makes things has been working on this clearly she set up plop, uh, set up a beacon to speed up the process and I need to come pitch in on this and clearly she likes the uh, light blue glass as I do so that's uh, that's cool okay I will have to come in and pitch in and help with this stuff um, Biggest pain in the butt is going to be when all the blocks drop down below. Picking them up is going to be a is going to be a problem. It's going to be a challenge. Some of them may just despawn, uh, which is a little bit uh, frustrating. Oh look, and here is the aquarium. Eric Hulk is on. Um, he was... Oh, there's a... No, that's not a dolphin. I thought that was a dolphin. There's all kinds of fishies in here. Um, yeah, he was most uh, interested in the server update because he wanted to be able to use some of the new blocks. They had slabs and stairs of a lot of blocks that they didn't have slabs and stairs for before. So... Um, he's probably out at uh, his place, his underwater planet Hulk, as he calls it. So let's uh, let's swing out that way and see what there is to see. Uh, I haven't been on the server a whole lot lately. I say that a lot lately. Um, so I've been. Well, there's there's downtown. Um, Wow, that was frustrating. Okay, there's Spawn Island. That means Planet Hulk is out this way. <clears throat> um, I've been... 
work has gotten kind of busy. <laughs> Things were n super quiet. Um, and I think that was part of the justification that they used to decide they were going to lay me off. Uh, but now, of course, I'm busy, busier than ever um, in preparation to be laid off, which kind of, uh, kind of sucks. Um, oh, skeleton horse. A couple of them. Oh, that's right, because you can actually, you can ride them underwater. Here we go. So, yeah, work has been keeping me busy, and I've been trying to uh, get prepared. I need to, still need to finish uh, cleaning up my resume, or at, rather making a resume, because I haven't needed one in like 25 years. Um, and then uh, start poking around and seeing who needs, who needs help. Who needs somebody like me. <coughs> Um. Oh, triggered. Um, although I kind of, kind of savoring the idea a little bit of not having, having some time off. Well, there's a creeper over there. Big empty area. Um, so yeah, that's, that's that. I've also been spending a lot more time at the Magic Castle. Because why not? Uh, I have... Big area here. Oops. Uh, so I've been going to the Friday lunches, which is a members only thing. And that's, that's been super cool. And, um... On Sunday, I am going in to interview for a volunteer position they call the Castle Knights. And the Castle Knights are kind of people who serve as like greeters. Oh, okay. Um, greeters, and they give tours, and they just are kind of, you know, public interface sort of people. Uh, and that to me seemed like a, a a way of getting a little bit more involved in the the clubhouse or and kind of the organization behind the castle so that is there's a committee uh for the castle knights and they are holding odd not auditions but interviews this sunday i have a time slot um i don't know how i know it's it's kind of a prestigious thing uh, but I don't know how sort of in demand the positions are. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, so I'll go in and see, and if they, if they like me, um, I may become a castle knight. And then that, I mean, basically, oh wow, that's, how do I get down there? I like that. That's cool. The the carpet design? It's not carpet, is it? Oh, it's, yeah, it is. It's carpet on top of wall. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This looks really neat. Huh. Um, so, yeah. And then the, the Castle Knights are responsible for... They have to work a couple... Uh, at least a couple days a month. Sort of being on duty. And when people come in... They can, uh, the Castle Knights are there to help, uh, to help them around and say, because it can be kind of confusing. The place is built, I mean, it's in an old Victorian mansion and, and, um, and it, it it's a little bit maze-like. Getting around can be an interesting challenge. Um, so... Having somebody around to say hi and what time's your dinner reservation and let's see let's see what you can 
what entertainment you can see before and after your dinner. Uh, so, so that's cool. Um, and then one of the things that I, I never really, I didn't really expect. I didn't know it was a thing. Um, it's what they call, uh, perks. And the, these perks are, huh. <laughs> Uh, these perks are, are events that are put on for the benefit of members. Sometimes it's just magician members, but sometimes it's uh, all members. Is there an Enderman down there? There is. Okay, leave him alone. Uh, so we did, a, there was a perk thing that I participated in last week, and it was... Arr, um, it was a balloon, uh, balloon thing, balloon sculpting. Uh, and we learned how to make dogs and turkeys and things out of balloons, which was pretty funny. Oh, ah, that's neat. So he's got a little clock there so you can tell what time it is and whether it's sensible to be leaving. And it's... Probably not. Right now it's getting dark. But hey. Um, where are we at? Spawn Island is over this way, huh? So, uh, so that's cool. And then there was a thing uh, just this past weekend that was... Or no, this, this, this week. Whoa! Fish jumping. Uh, just this past week and it was pretty cool. It was um, It's kind of hard to explain it was a little Thing where they had people come and talk and show different projects they were working on that kind of had a mathematical kind of a magic kind of an art sort of sort of frame or bend and it was It was all kind of in tribute to Martin Gardner. Martin Gardner is a guy who I absolutely worshipped when I was a kid. I was obsessed with him. Uh, I found his books in the library and then later found that the reason that he had books was because he used to write a column for Scientific American and it was in the back of the episode. I think I hear a drown, but I think we're doing okay here. Um, <clears throat> and it was... Uh, and it was sort of a recreational mathematics sort of column. And he just show a little weird, goofy math tips and tricks and things that worked that you wouldn't think would. And it was pretty, pretty kooky. Um, and he was also a magician and I did not actually know that. Um, and, and he had books specifically for magicians. And if I had found out about that, I probably would have gotten, a, I probably would have been a little bit more seriously interested in magic as a kid. But it wasn't until much later that I actually found his books, uh, his, ma his magic books. So, interesting. Uh, so yeah, that was, um, so this was kind of a thing that they they called gathering for gardener mm. stuff's in pretty good shape so that was uh that was interesting and it's a group that meets on a semi-regular basis and they they kind of they do this type of thing um one of the people was a was an artist who used to be a member of crash space and she done a bunch of cool things with our, the laser cutter there and um, and she uh, got to show some of the stuff that she was working on and the end result which I'd never seen uh, I'd never really seen the end result uh, before and so that that was kind of cool um, so that was that you know, I'm talking. Let's go check out the Blaze Farm. I'm not positive I ever tested it. Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, that was so that was interesting, and not surprisingly, a uh, fair number of other Magic Castle members are similarly interested in Martin Gardner. Um, so that was uh, that was pretty cool. Um, and the reason that I wanted to become a Castle Knight was I was looking for ways to get more uh, involved with the club, the organization in general. And that seemed like... Oh, okay. They're spawning. Let's see if they actually get pushed down successfully. Yeah, there's one. Okay. We'll let it build up a little bit. Um, and then, um, so I was looking for ways, uh, I would, I would very much like or enjoy being part of the sort of organizational side of things with the, uh, the board of directors, but we have some pretty impressive people on the board and they seem to be very... That magma cube is is swimming on top of the lava. Are they supposed to do that? Seems weird to me. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, and uh, so th there's plenty of Um, uh, so there's plenty of people interested in being on the board. Um, it's not as much of a volunteer heavy thing as some of the other committees probably. And I'm not eligible to, to run for the board anyway. Uh, I have to be there for five years before that is even a possibility. So... <laughs> There we go. Uh, so anyway, so I, I figured Castle Knight would be a good way to get involved. I enjoy talking to people, guests when they're there, especially people who've never been to the castle before, because usually people get pretty, uh, pretty overwhelmed and are just fascinated by the space. And there's so much trivia about the building and the things there and how, the why it is the way it is. Uh, so. Um, that is, uh, I enjoy, I enjoy talking to people and that's, uh, about the Magic Castle and that is kind of the job of, oh, he's gonna die. Uh, that is kind of the job of the Castle Knights, so. Wow. Uh, so I figured that's a good place to start. A good uh, way to get more involved and a good thing to build a resume uh, for if we get to a point where maybe the board of directors might be a possibility for me. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's that's kind of what's been going on there. Um, and... Ooh. So we got three people on the server, which is a little bit... Oh, hello. Whoa. Okay, let's keep it up. Woo. Um... <clears throat> Keys. Whew. Uh, what was I saying? What was Eric talking about? Oh, okay. All right. 
Um, yeah, so anyway, that just seemed like a good thing. So that's on Sunday. I have some studying to do. They, they passed out a, uh, a guidebook. The guidebook that the Castle Knights are used to, to learn the, uh, the story behind everything inside the castle. And um, the vice chair of the Castle Knights Committee uh, is named Georgia. And she asked, she suggested a another book that has um, a lot of the castle stories and information about the things hanging on the walls and the history and all that good stuff. So, uh, so I bought that book and I need to read it, which I'll be doing tomorrow and Saturday. And then Sunday after the uh, the interview. Uh, Chihuahua Power G and I are having dinner at the castle. It's her birthday on Monday. And uh, that was kind of the what we decided to do to celebrate. Uh, she is in Las Vegas right now at a work thing. There we go. And um, yeah, so that's uh, she'll be back tomorrow. And then uh, then the birthday extravaganza begins. So there we are. Ah. This guy. Still not a farmer. Okay. So anyway, that's okay. I'm going to want to say this has been short and sweet. But I don't know if that's actually the case. Um, so I'm going to stop it there. We've got work to do here and there around. And I've got all these farmers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to pull over three more. I need to pull three more unemployed farmers from the artificial village. And then start building out the carrot farm. In here in this hole here and then that between that and the potato farm here farmer oh and I I think I have a couple guys down here who uh, from a couple episodes ago a couple guys down here who are not actually farmers so that will have to be dealt with but, and this guy isn't really farming, is he? Of course, I just got here and it's not quite farming time yet. It's not work time yet. Oh, goodness. Okay. That's it. Um, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right? Bye. So I found a little flaw in my farm design here. That patch of farmland just got trampled. And I think what the deal was is the farmer got up on top of the composter and then jumped off the composter onto the farmland. So I'm going to have to either cover the composter so the, so the farmer can't jump on top of it or buried in the ground, which was my original plan. I just, it's, it was a lot easier just to put it there. The layers below shouldn't be an issue because I don't think there's enough room for, no, there's not enough room for them to jump on top. It's not enough headroom. So I let me, I need to fix this. Um, so interesting unintended consequence of the changes to 1.14. Looking for a slab. Any slab will do. Um, yeah. Interesting. We can use sandstone. Let's go down there. This little uh, coda. Up. 
Hi. I would very much appreciate it if you did the stand up on there. And I have a hoe. So we can do that. Okay. Now it's a slab, so nothing should be able to spawn on there. And this block should be at the appropriate light level. Light level. Oh, goodness. I changed everything. Current light, eight. So nothing should be able to plant there. So he should, he should try and it'll pop right off. It stayed there for a moment. Now it could be somewhat a lag because there's three people on the server. It's a little bit more than usual. Um, but I think we're good now. Okay. Well, that's just a little, a little, uh, coda, a little, extra bit um so again this is theron it's been minecraft land party and i will see you next time right bye